Hey YouTubers, Steven here. How's everybody doing? Alright, so we're going to get started on this year's hop growing. Um, it's a beautiful day as you can see behind me. Um, going to start the trellis today. We're going to use some uh, 12, uh, 4x4 posts, 12 foot long. And I'm um, going to try some new uh, galvanized steel wire that I found. It's 2 millimeter thick, so it should be good and heavy. And um, you know, it only cost me three dollars. So, in comparison to buying clothesline, which would probably be twenty dollars for the box, I think this will be a lot easier to handle. So, hot plants are really taking off since I um, gave them all the manure and in, in the soil. And um, hopefully, the wind's not too bad today. But um, we're going to be digging holes. So, let me show you what we've got set up here, and then uh, we'll get. I'm going to get out of this so I can get a tank top on and enjoy the sun. So, But uh, let's have a little peek before we get started. Cascades are doing pretty good. Um, they're reaching up there. And they're filling out quite along down through the box. So I'm pretty pleased with that this year. So this pearl plant's really coming up this year. I'm, I'm quite impressed. And then just a little further down, the other one's coming up. But as you can see... I wanted to stay for the distance because the new ports, oh my goodness, they are just going like mad. So, as you can see, I've got to get this trellis built and up for the plants or, you know, these black flies are getting a little much. I think I'm going to have to get some bug spray on, but I'm planning on expanding this uh, planter box a little bit too. So, the posts I'm going to put in are just going to be out a little further than what the fence line is but you'll see what I have planned all right we'll be back all right holes are dug um, I only dug them down let's see it's only down two feet it's probably a little better than two feet but I only have two bags of concrete that I'm gonna put in each hole there's really not gonna be a whole lot of weight on those I am gonna put uh, support wires down on the side, so I'm gonna mix up some concrete and uh, let's get these bad boys in. tip about these small wheelbarrows if you're going to mix anything put your knees inside and push them against the handles it'll make it a lot sturdier if you're gonna you know mix concrete it is a little harder on your back I'll give you that that warning so if you have back problems you may want to put on a brace get this in the hole. Make sure she's good and snug in there in the bottom. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's actually pretty good, right like that, I think. Throw a couple rocks in here. <clears throat> We're 
we're gonna biff them in here. So we want to stiffen this up a little more for the pole. This is where the rocks come in handy, because once I get this plumb, I just push the rocks down gently until it holds it into spot. This one's a little stiffer. Alright, plumb that way. Slight adjustment this way. <laughs> right on. All right, now I just got to nail in this little support here. All right, so here's the first post. And then we've got the other post up there. So we've got them both in today, which is good. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to run a temporary line uh, just so I can get the, uh, the hop starting to train. Um, and it's supposed to be nice weather all this week, so hopefully I'll get the top of the um, the trellis done. So, but right now I gotta get cleaned up and get ready to do barbecue because it's Mother's Day. And back to work tomorrow. So, yeah, stay tuned. All right, so here's what we got going on so far. So, I've got my poles flipped down so that I can. You know just tie on the strings um, I have them snugged in just pulled in so that it's snug in against the posts so you can see the line there you can see the line that's galvanized steel so it's two millimeters so it, it's plenty thick so I'm just gonna tie my jute to all that measure out 10 feet cut the line and then uh, once I have 20 lines tied to that I'm going to get someone on the other end and we're just going to flip it up and then I'll lag bolt it in place. We'll come back when I have a Check this out. Um, all these strings that I just have tied took me like just a few minutes. I'm going to show you this. This, this works so well. Um, the first string I actually put the measuring tape on and walked back 10 feet. And these ones up here. Um, and then I'll just walk back side by side. So here. I just walk back parallel with the, with the strings. They're about the same tension, and a cut, three feet. Okay, I need another one here. So first thing I'll do is I'll loop it under on one side, then I want to loop it on the other side, just so that it makes sort of like a weird little bite, and then I'll bring the string underneath and then through to tie it. 
and I pull it really tight and then I give it another knot really tight and that seems to hold pretty well on the lines and it makes for a pretty quick knot to just pull back and set the line so what I've got here for a support it's a birch tree that I cut four foot long spiked it on the end and beat it in with a uh, sledgehammer at a 45 degree angle that's not quite a 45 degree angle now as you can see the the strain on the uh, the support wire has actually pulled it straight so I may have to uh, put in another one so hopefully this is coming in okay I've got a hook there on the 4x4 post that's my first wire for my support and then there's my pole that I had secured. Uh, I've got two three inch, three and a half inch lag bolts in there. And then as we go up to the top, oh, there was a hummingbird up there. Ah. So at the top, you can see I have the other support wire. And then I just have another eye bolt. Um, and I just get the wire pulled through that and then twist it around it tight. So this end is the same. Hopefully this tripod noise isn't annoying. But I also have lag bolts in there as well. And then if we follow the support line down, you can see I have another uh, hook. And I have a couple of vines that are going kind of wild. <laughs> but then uh, the support line just comes down into the ground with another piece of birch over here that I did. Um, that one's still at a pretty good 45 degree angle. Alright, so looking at the hop line, hopefully this comes out because I know the sky is kind of gray, but um, so all in all, this worked out really, really well. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad, but there's the top of the post of the cascades, and we come down. And yeah, the post failed at the other end, but you can see, the Cascades did fairly well. The Pearl, let's see if I can put my finger out here, there, the Pearl did really well this year. And then of course, uh, from here down to here, it's my new ports, that's crazy. But, yeah, the post failed. So we'll start at the bottom of the post. You can see how the new ports came up. And then they went crazy around the post because when you get up to the top, yeah, it couldn't handle the weight of the new ports. Like, this is one crazy nest of vines. And then you get into the pearl and then the cascade up there, so. So there's lots of nice cones there. Up and up and up and up. Like, crazy amount of cones. It's like a jungle in here. So it's a good thing that I had this white line that I originally had everything tied to. Because you can see when uh, it failed, it held the vines pretty good. Um, so you can see here, it all bent over the lines and then they basically all just looped down and then looped back up to that pole so yeah starting here this is my pearl plants here over to just about here and then on the other side over here is the cascades so they did really really well 
I don't know what happened to the ones in the front. Um, they got, they didn't grow very big, and then all of a sudden they just turned yellow overnight. So uh, I'm not sure what happened to the front ones. So I'm not going to harvest them this year. But look at the Newport. Like this is almost like hedge material. <laughs> this is so insane. The weight of this.